Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be taking Lusa to the vet. So I kind of wanted to film a vlog on what to expect when you take them to a vet. This is just a general checkup. This isn't a wellness full checkup, but I did just want to get like the general basis of what's going to be going on, how to take your bird to the vet. Is that you want to make sure that your bird has eaten before going to the vet. Uh, you don't want them going on an empty stomach. As well, you want to make sure you have an appropriate carrier. You can either get a carrier kind of like the one I have. I definitely recommend this for small to medium birds. Or you can bring in a travel cage, which are those like smaller cages. Anything that really works for you. Prior to this, you want to make sure that you have trained them to go into that carrier. Otherwise, it's going to be really difficult. And I do plan to make a video on how to do that. So today is a bit more of a chilly day. I do recommend putting a blanket over it, heating up your car prior to putting them in the car so that they don't get cold and so today's appointment is mainly going to be because lusa has had a little bit of an overgrowth of her beak in the sides and as well her nails really need a trim as well when we go to the vet make sure to write out a list of any concerns that you've been having with your bird anything so you don't forget when they ask you hey what are there things we want to talk about things you want to check up okay so let's start heading to the vet ready to go Luz? yeah okay i'm gonna close up yeah <laughs> yeah no? Come. Wee. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Bye bye, Mango. We'll be back. Yep. Ready up. Yes, Mango. We'll be back. I know, I know, I'm gonna let you out, okay? Let me put my seatbelt. Come on, yeah, come on. Oish, there we go. Much better, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Hi, hi, hi. Ready? You ready to go, doctor? Yeah, you love car rides. I know you love car rides, yes. So I am taking her out because she is accustomed to car rides and being out and she's easy to put back into her carrier. Some birds might freak out. You don't want them flying around like crazy panicking inside the car. So obviously don't do this unless your bird is accustomed to car rides or completely able to sit on you calmly during the car ride. As well, make sure that you always have somebody to help you out going to the vet. I know a lot of people are able to just put the carrier on the seat, but I personally prefer to have somebody help me out to get to the vet just for extra precaution and keeping her steady. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes, are you a good girl? Yeah. Oh, look at you. You're so puffy. Look at you. You're so puffy. Come on, back into the carrier. I'm gonna go in. In. <laughs> hey, Luz, we're off. Okay. Oh my goodness. And she is about six and a half? Yeah, about six and a half. She turned seven in um, in August. Okay. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an assistant come in here and help sure. hold while I uh, just trim down the beak and the sides a little bit where you're noticing that overgrowth of the yeah. on the mm -hmm. side there. Yeah. Like, that's not an issue at all. It looks it looks totally normal, okay? But we okay. can take it back down to sure, yeah. what it should be. And then we'll take the nails down as well. Okay, sure. Okay? Thank you so much. Right. What we can do, uh, if she won't get away from you, if you want to take her up out of the carrier and then just put a hand on her and I can get her from you. I can't promise she won't fly and attack okay, you. I, yeah. I'll, I'll take her from the she's not great then. with strangers. It's just whatever. It's like less stressful for yeah, her. Yeah. If like she's actually she's pretty good. Like last time uh we did this, she yeah. just went like, okay. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Hi, sweet girl. Here we are. Oh, she looks Hi. like a baby. <laughs> I know. Nice to meet you too. Okay, there we go. Now, I noticed in the picture that you sent me mm -hmm. that there was just a little bit of, um, here, let me see if I can point it out, because I'm not seeing it right now. Yeah. But in the picture, there was a little bit of bruising right here. Oh, okay? was there? Okay. Yeah, and that could be anything, mm -hmm. just climbing on bars or bumped her beak yeah. on something. Not a big mm -hmm. deal. It seems to have grown out mm -hmm. now, but that can cause the panel on the side to grow uh, okay. just a little bit wonky. Yeah. Okay, so that's probably what we're seeing there. And we can just, uh, just clean it up a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay? All right. So I'm just going to... Get 
I think she's just accepted her fate. <laughs> yeah. No, she's doing great. Hi, sweet girl. Alrighty. Okay, so it's loud, it's loud, it's scary. There's a little bit of overgrowth on the bottom beak. I can turn okay. I can just yeah, kind of buff that great. out if you Thank want me you. to. She's being really good. <laughs> so tell me what you're feeding her. Um, pellets and fresh chop, fresh uh, fruit, and some walnuts and pumpkin seeds as treats here and there. Nice. What but honestly, I find that they mainly just eat, like, vegetables all day. That's great. Yeah. That's really good. They're not nice. Is it the colorful supreme or the no, natural No, no, natural. One? Well, it's the colorful one that's a little bit high, yeah. higher in sugar. Yeah, so and the dyes and stuff. Exactly, yeah. yeah. We usually recommend that one when we're first switching birds yeah, over from seeds to, to pellets because it's... And really, so. any pellet diet out there is better than is going to be better than a seed diet. Yes, you know? of course. So, yeah, better really some some idea. pellets than like no pellets. Absolutely. I mean, she loves her veggies, so Good. that's, <laughs> that's awesome. mainly what she goes for. That's awesome. What kind of veggies does she like? Oh my goodness, everything that's on the plate. I put like oh, 20 so different good. vegetables in her. And do you like blend it up? You put it in a food processor? Yeah, or, like, food processor. Nice. And then we make for like a, a month's supply. So we put it in the freezer as well. Nice. And then we mix it in with hemp hearts, chia seeds, black seeds. Oh, amazing. Spoiled girl, huh? <laughs> She's just like a day at the spa, getting yeah. her nails done, getting her pedicure. She's like, wow, this is great. Is she outside of the cage most of the time? All day until it's uh, nighttime. Okay. My, I, I basically rent the corner of my room and they have like my whole room <laughs> to just fly around. Okay. And as well, we let them out of the room. They fly around the house and everything. Nice. So they're bonded? Very bonded, yes. Oh, that's amazing. And her heart rate's like totally calm. She's just chilling. But it's it sounds strong, it sounds regular, her, her lungs sound clear, she looks fantastic, okay? Very so we're just gonna take her into the back to grab a weight yep. and then we'll bring her right back. Sounds good. And you're good to go. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All done at the vet. Now Lusa has her nails trimmed, her beak all pretty, <laughs> and she was very good. Now we're gonna head back home, right? So are you excited to go back home? Yeah. You get both go back home. Right, Luz? Oh, there you are. There's my pretty girl. You got so many compliments that your feathers were so pretty. Yeah, you did. And you were gorgeous and beautiful health. Right? Mwah.